by day three then of our little holiday in Wales and I'm going to show you today how to draw movement on the beach so you may want to see figures in your painting and you may have trouble drawing them so I'll give you a few tips and tricks on how to do that today. I often come back from holiday with a sketchbook full of really random little images where I sat on a beach and kind of sketched uh, people and, and events that have been happening so in this uh, video I want to share my technique for doing that with you um, and we're going to start by sketching uh, my son who was building a sandcastle or just playing in the sand basically so uh, let's have a look at that and see where we're going to start we're going to start with the hat um, because it's it's not moving an awful lot it, it's it's one more or less continuous shape even though uh, my son is moving around. The, the hat is pretty good a, a measure to, to finding uh, where things should be sitting in the image. So I'm going to put the hat in first of all, um, add a little bit of shading to it and, and then bring in the neck uh, of, of Sam. Um, you find if you watch people on the beach they do return to the same position time and time again. Um, and so what I've done is I've frozen the action a little bit here um, so that you can sort of get one image to look at rather than being distracted by the movement. But basically people always come back to the same sort of position if you sit and watch them for long enough. And, and five minutes is usually plenty. Um, but like I say, in this instance, I've, I've frozen the action for you so we can kind of uh, look at, at what was going on. And as you can see, this isn't the same action that I was recording earlier because the arm's not quite in the same place but the shoulder is slightly higher uh, than in the reference image. Uh, I'm drawing fairly big shapes at this point not um, not kind of any detail so um, a sort of a, a, a shape for the shoe as opposed to the actual shoe itself um, adding in uh, some of the, the sort of work on the sole but basically this is not an accurate image this is kind of an impression is what I draw when I'm on the beach people in in sort of a, an impression of, of, of the position they're in and this is what you can do if you if you watch closely um, and I'll, I'll do another video on, on, on how I sort of achieve that result um, but as you can see I've got uh, pretty much got most of the detail in now and starting to add some some shading um, where the Sun uh, and, and this is casting shadow um, helping to give the image a bit of a 3D look um, moving around the image all the time it's another thing I find if you can draw really quickly when you're out and about it's, uh, it's very helpful as the Sun does move very quickly during the day uh, and it does it does present issues when you're, you're trying to put shade onto an image um, some little dark lines under the hat where the neck is and uh, that's more or less uh, it really so moving on now to somebody who was laying on the beach again this person had moved by the time I took the picture uh, so what I'm drawing here is an impression of this this person as they were laying down um, with their legs stretched out as what's happened in this image is they've, they've, they've buckled their knees around a little bit um, but as you can see I'm still just really drawing um, what's in front of me a sort of a, a, an uh, an item for a head, a sort of a circle for a head, and then getting the body as, as, as accurate as I can. And like I say, the position had changed by the time I took the photo. Uh, so you just have to trust me that this, this was exactly what was going on at the time. Uh, and this is what I tend to do. I just dot around the beach, really looking for things to draw. Here I'm drawing the, the life boy, getting some shadow on, on the life boy, uh, and a bit of um, pole that holds it in the ground and then working my way through uh, the windbreak. Windbreaks are actually quite nice to draw on a beach because they're very much straight lines and you don't have to worry too much about them moving either. Um, again another great device to, to help you measure perspective and stuff is, is, is to use a, uh, a windbreak as a bit of a reference to, to work out the heights of things. Uh, adding some sort of clothing that was hung off the end of the uh, windbreak and also putting in uh, the bottom line of the windbreak which kind of goes downhill which doesn't seem like it should but that, that that's what it was doing at the time um, so adding that in and then finally there was a figure on a chair um, so I'm putting that in now uh, adding in you know the, the the major shapes not not uh, not the tiny detail but the big shapes um, working this out into this 
image and then adding the, the stripes. You have to have stripes, the stripes on the windbreak. Um, just adding them in as a little bit detail. Again, detail always at the end, big shapes at the start. The best, uh, best advice I can give when you're out drawing. Um, this is someone on their mobile phone on the beach. Um, I've taken the picture close up, uh, but they're actually quite a way away. So I've, I've just, again, putting in some limited marks here. Uh, to give the impression as opposed to actually drawing what's uh, what you might expect to be there. Very small figure here sat on some rocks uh, with their phone in their hand. Sort of a <laughs> very uh, very normal thing these days, have your phone in your hand. Uh, putting some shadows in where, where they need to be. Uh, there's definitely a dark shadow under the legs, so I've just put that in. Um, and a slight hoodie and some little stones and bits and pieces. Um, around the base of, uh, of of where this person was sat, uh, and again some indications, some rock work where she was was sat. Maybe the arms aren't quite in the right position here, but then she was moving when I was drawing. So for for me, it probably was in the right position, but uh, for the reference photo, uh, the image is not obviously accurate. But this is the fun of of drawing people out and about. You can kind of um, make these choices for yourself. very far side of the beach people um, obviously a lower bit of the beach it sort of goes down to the sea so I've only got the tops of people now to draw and this was very much in the distance so I'm just drawing a little dot for the head um, and some very very kind of tiny sort of almost matchstick like people um, on the beach just getting the positioning so that they look like they they're doing something uh, very useful thing to have as reference in your sketchbook um, people people on the beach in various poses so that you can start to use these very small figures in your painting. That person there is bending over. Um, and then finally in the sketchbook I'm going to draw an image of some people who are walking up the beach towards me. So a bit of live action, people walking. Uh, and again I'm just doing this very quickly, uh, less than 30 seconds really. Uh, two people, little dot for the head, uh, one's carrying a a plastic bag, the other carrying a, a sort of a blanket to sit on on the beach, um, trying to get the the feeling of them walking up the beach as opposed to them, the detail of them walking on the beach, which I think I've achieved in that very tiny sketch in the bottom and middle uh, of of my sketch pad. So I hope you'll go out and try this somewhere, find some people to watch and to draw. Um, it's it's a very it's a very good thing to do very relaxing bit testing maybe